Okay, we're, here we're going to look at two forms of gravitational energy and show that they are equivalent, even though they may not look uh, at all alike. And the picture we're, we're going we're gonna to look at here is essentially standing on the Earth, dropping a ball from some height. And this is obviously not drawn to scale, and I have the radius of the Earth there. Just for notation, I'm going to call this distance between the two objects, center to center, little r. Right, and that's what that's the that'll come into play in one of the equations. We're interested in the gravitational energy um, that we gain essentially from falling from point one to the surface, point two. The first form looks like this: gravitational energy is equal to mass times the um, local gravitational acceleration, or really the energy it takes to lift one kilogram by one meter. It's so a 10 joules per kilogram meter times h. Times, and this is the, the part that uh, um, uh, is a little interesting, uh, we get the radius of the earth over the height plus the radius of the earth. Now this term here is usually about one if the, if, if, if the, uh, um, if the height itself is small compared to the radius of the Earth. And then we get back our classical simple form of just mg times h. The other form of gravitational energy looks like this. as a minus sign, uh, a big G, which is the gravitational constant mass of the Earth times the little mass of the, of the ball um, over the, uh, um, the little r, the distance between these two. Uh, center to center, and I claim that that those are the same, and uh, and further by showing that how they're the same, we actually get an understanding of where this gravitational energy constant comes from in the uh, also called the gravitational acceleration, where that comes from. The way we do that is we take <coughs> the difference between the energy at point one and at point two for form number one it'll just look like form number one. There's no difference because, because point two has h equals zero, and so we end up with just the, the value at, at, at point one. Uh, the second form here with the one over r has as a zero point r equals infinity. So we have to actually take the difference between the gravitational energy at point one, which is negative g, m, e, little m, and the distance between them at point one is, is uh, uh, h plus the radius of the Earth, and then we subtract the value at point two. So same mat, little mass all over, and the distance now at point two is just the radius of the Earth. Um, flipping the terms around so I can get rid of a, a, a minus sign, minus times a minus is a plus, so I'm just going to put the plus term over here, uh, gravitational co constant, mass, little mass over RE, minus GMEM over h plus re. Okay, now it's just algebra again. Uh, I'm going to make a common denominator of re times h plus re. And then, so that means I'm going to have up, up on top g m e times m and h plus re. And then minus g m e m just times an re. Okay. Now that we have that, we can see a couple things. First of all, this term here and this distributed into the multiply uh, end up canceling. And so we just end up with a G M E M times H on, on, on the top and then this you know term, term on, uh, on the bottom. I'm going to rewrite it slightly and you can see how it'll end up being the, the same. I'm going to pull out the, the, uh, um, uh, uh, the little m. I'm going to pull out the h. Okay, that's in, part, that's in part of that. And I'm going to have to make it look like the term uh, that's, that, that's above. Uh, I'm going to pull out an re over h plus re. Okay, and what I'm left with here is all the rest of the stuff which is a g uh, mass of the earth over the radius of the earth squared. And we can see how, how, this, how, how the terms end up being the same. I, I invite you to, 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 to do that. Um, so the claim then essentially, so we have the same exact form and this is a constant. And, 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 and what we should do is we should really double check 
that that this term here is equivalent to the little g that we had up up there and and has a numerical value of 10. so um so the so the final way the final check for this um is the is, is the following so what i have is i have the quantity um i have the quantity g m e over r e squared g is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11 joule meter per kilogram squared the mass of the earth is just 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms and the radius of the earth is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters so uh plugging that plugging that in what we get uh for uh a number is so just the, the the number part and we'll deal with the units separately uh we have 6.7 times 10 negative 11 times the 6 times 10 to the 24 all over a 6.4 times 10 to the 6 square just for the number not the units and and that comes out to be about 9.8 the units are joule meter per kilogram squared times a kilogram over a meter squared. So we get the, this is the units, uh, this is the units of G, this is the units of the mass over the radius squared. And we have to f you know, make sure that those units uh, actually work out. Um, and so one kilogram cancels with, uh, um, with, with one kilogram, one meter cancels with one meter. So I end up with 9.8 joule per kilogram meter. And, uh, Joule is just a kilogram meter squared per second squared, so over a kilogram meter. And finally, so those are the units. And finally, we have a kilogram cancel the kilogram, one meter cancels with one of those, well, those meters, and we end up with meter per second squared, uh, which is the same. Um, either the units for the little g are either joules per kilogram meter or meters per second squared uh, gravitational acceleration. Either, either, either one will work and the units work out fine. So if you wanted to find the gravitational acceleration or the energy, local energy constant for any planet, you can simply use this because because the same logic applies to any planet. You just change it for the local conditions and the two forms of gravitational energy are the same.